Magnesium versus laxatives. What is the better choice? Constipation is one of the most common gut health complaints I see. And the first instinct many people have is to grab an over-the-counter laxative. But here's the truth. Laxatives only act as short-term fix. They stimulate or force the bowel to move, which can lead to dependency, irritation, and even worsening of gut function over time. Magnesium, on the other hand, works differently. It relaxes the nervous system and muscles, including the digestive tract. It draws water into intestines, softening stool naturally. Of course, you'll need to hydrate accordingly. It supports over 300 biochemical reactions from energy to sleep to hormone balance. And we talked about that earlier. Why in functional medicine, I recommend magnesium. That's why, in the right form, as it's safer, long-term solution for gut regularity. In this week, I want to break down the difference between magnesium citrate oxide, glycinate, and others, when magnesium is a better option than a laxative, and how to choose the right form without making your gut worse. So here are my main points. Point number one, laxative equals quick fix, not a solution. Works by forcing the bowel movement, causes that dependency, dehydration, gut irritation, pain. I've heard so many complaints from people that took uh, really harsh laxatives and were in so much pain and that took hours to go away. Number two, magnesium, support, not force. So it relaxes the intestinal muscles, improves motility naturally, hydrates stool and nourishes your whole body. So forms of magnesium really matter. Not all magnesium are created equal. The form you choose can make that huge difference. And especially in my kind of population, my clients with Crohn's and colitis, they need to be extra careful which one to use. So magnesium citrate, it's gentle, commonly used for constipation relief. It pulls water into the colon. If you're tolerating citrate well, it's great news. And it can be used for long term. So that's an even better news. Magnesium oxide, it's inexpensive, but it's poorly absorbed, mainly works as a laxative and with oxide form, my uh, clients with Crohn's and colitis IBS have been complaining of that gas pain and feeling uncomfortable. So be careful with that form. But again, it can be working for you then. You're in good shape too, because it's cost effective. Next one is magnesium glycinate. It's highly absorbable. It's calming for the nervous system, less likely to cause diarrhea. So those that are more prone to diarrhea, that would be an ideal case. Magnesium malate, it's great for energy and muscle function. It helps for fatigue and pain. So that could be very useful form for those looking to improve and have more energy. Magnesium threonate, it supports brain health, memory, it crosses the blood-brain barrier. I have clients that are using both threonate and citrate, one for brain health and the other one for constipation. It can be used both of those magnesiums together. Magnesium chlorate, it's well absorbed and available in topical forms, often used for muscle relaxation. Magnesium sulfate, what's used in famous Epsom salts, commonly used in baths for muscle relaxation, detox support, enjoy, especially if you add essential oils, make that your nighttime routine, and you could use that together with other forms of magnesium. It, it won't um, cause that major additional effect. 
magnesium taurate and that that's the one that's supportive for heart health and blood pressure um, so here all these forms you could um, find out from my PDF form I could send that to you and the bottom line it that the mat you have to match that form that to you need don't grab the first cheapest bottle on the shelf uh, work with someone that knows you um, maybe even test at your micronutrients levels and when it when is the time to use it occasional constipation magnesium can surely help chronic gut issues always look for the root cause because magnesium most likely will be a band-aid so don't reach for the laxative give your gut what it needs if you found this helpful hit subscribe share the video it will really help us here with someone that struggles with someone that has chronic gut issues just uh, constipation i have a lot of great free resources on my website digestereset.com and uh, i will see you guys next week this is dr ina at digestereset and melamed institute thanks for watching